Look what I made in Gaja Life 3. Yeah it looks cool and weird at the same time. Okay so, you might be thinking, how in the world I have Gaja Life 3? Since when did it start to exist? Actually it does exist. Let me show you the Gaja Life 3. So it starts just like Gaja Life 2, with same theme and everything. But difference starts here. This is the home page. Looks good to be honest. What shocked me the most is the pose feature. It has a lot of different animated pose. Like look at these. Walking, jumping, running, dancing and more. Like these are some pretty good animated poses. Okay let's make my OC. Not bad to be honest. Wait let me show you the features. So they have the same clothings from Gotcha Life 2. Nothing new is really here. The color section isn't bad. There's bunch of option to color it. The hair eyes and other stuff are not new either. They are also from Gotcha Life 2. Only problem is you can't adjust your stuff here. So even if your OC look cursed you can't fix it. We can also see Gotcha Life 2 ears and lips. The backgrounds are also same as Gaja Life 2. The head looks huge though but it still looks fine if you are making chibi characters. There's a studio option too. But honestly, except for the animated poses I didn't see anything new. The other options seem like a Gaja Life 2 ripoff. Like it is literally Gaja Life 2 but with less features like no adjustment and less customizable options. So how do I even have this game? You can find this game in a website called playhop.com. Search Gaja Life and there you have it. Honestly it feels like whoever made it just copied some stuff from Gacha Life 2, but named it Gacha Life 3. However the animated poses are still a win. You can even change animation speed. I hope these gets added in original Gacha Life 2. So yeah, but well there you have it your Gacha Life 3. I will just goof around with the animations until I am bored. This running pose looks goofy as heck.